Well, tomorrow, of course, is 4th of July Independence Day, and that means fireworks. But with all the excitement, just an important to remember to stay safe. And with fireworks and sparklers, they can be sometimes dangerous. Unfortunately, taking certain precautions can really help keep you and your whole family and friends safe during this holiday. So we've got our friend Michael McClear back in studio with us, president of Escape, joining us now. Michael, I mean, you're a firefighter. Mm -hmm. You know all about this. A little bit tricky this year, too, because we've been so dry. So we, let's get everybody up to speed. We have been so dry. So one of the things that we've never really talked about mm -hmm. is insurance and liability. Okay. If you have friends over and you're shooting off those fireworks, what happens if that fireworks leaves your property and it sets somebody else's building on fire, a house, mm. a shed, things like that? Many insurance policies do not have coverage for fireworks. They exclude that. Oh, wow. So people need to be aware of that. Check your policy. Check with your carrier. Also, mm -hmm. if you have friends that come over that don't live in that home, home and they get hurt, your medical coverage may not cover them hmm. if you don't have fireworks coverage. So it's been so dry, we just yeah. want to make sure everybody plays it safe. The best plan, leave it to the professionals. Go and see those professional shows yes. as you've been teasing out all morning long. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, and we have so many in West Michigan too, absolutely. so you know, let them do, and it, it's going to be a better show anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, you know, certainly. the bigger fires got more <laughs> resources. But you did bring, um, you know, some of the more um, available fireworks that people can, you know, do in their own yard and whatnot. So what are some tips? So if people are going to buy some of their own and they want to let up uh, sparklers or whatnot. You bet. So one of the most common ones are sparklers. A lot of people don't realize sparklers are actually going to burn over 1,200 degrees in just a matter of seconds, third degree burn, full thickness burn. If for some reason someone is burned, make sure that you cool that burned area with cool running water. If it's a severe second degree or third degree burn, make sure you get prompt medical attention. That's okay very, very important. And make sure that we have a bucket of water. Put these sticks in that bucket of water. Children are running around. They're looking at having fun. They're not thinking safety. Mm. And if they step on these hot sticks, that can oh. cause a very serious full thickness burn. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for these other uh, things that you have here on the table, of course, the bucket of water probably is necessary for all of this, right? Absolutely. And as has been said all week long, if for some reason the firework doesn't go off, don't go look over it. Don't go and, and handle it. Um, in in due course of time, put it in water because, again, you don't want to try and reignite it. It somehow malfunctioned. Follow the instructions, but there are no safe and sane fireworks. So I just want to be clear on that with everybody. Okay. And a, and a quick reminder, too, because kids are going to be running everywhere, like you said. So it is important to keep this stuff secure, the matches, all of that, too, right? Absolutely, because we use matches yeah. and lighters to, to light these off. We often think about those young, curious hands, and we <laughs> yes. need to make sure we secure them so they don't inadvertently play with fire and cause a tragedy. We want to have a celebratory holiday mm. we don't want to have it end up in the burn trauma center yeah, certainly we'll keep sure. our pets safe too you bet keep those pets at home keep them inside let them do their business before fireworks and then turn some soft music on yeah. or they can watch Fox 17 yeah, yeah. certainly well, they that. could yeah. Barkley you heard <laughs> Mr. Michael <laughs> thank you thank you appreciate it very very uh, important right now that's right